Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing the latest version of a model that launched in 2017. This is the Resens Type 1 Squared. Technically, this is the Type 1.3 Squared with the latest ETA 2892 base. And back in 2017, this was Resens Resence's first steel watch, first square watch, and first watch to feature their supremely practical case back winding lever. So the timepiece in stainless steel is 41 millimeters in diameter. It is slimmer than previous type ones. It is approximately 11.8 millimeters thick, 41 millimeters in diameter. It is 49 millimeters from lug to lug, it uses a 20 millimeter lug spacing. Now, you can see the watch on my wrist is comfortable and a lot like a wire lug rodimir. It wears a lot like a wire lug rodimir, only it's thinner. It easily fits underneath the cuff. And because the lugs are barely there, it essentially wears like a 41 by 41 millimeter square on your wrist. So if your wrist is as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, I think you're gonna wear this well, and it is very low. Although not explicitly billed as a dress watch, its thin profile makes it an ideal watch for that purpose. Here we have a Resence factory strap. You can see it's calf skin in gray on the bottom, a brand new Resence factory strap with their corporate logo, the hand on the top. You can see that it is a sort of grayish green ostrich leather, which has a unique profile. And also you can see the marks where the quills of the feathers were rooted in the original leather. You can also see that it is a bound or unstitched strap. So it's held together using adhesive rather than stitching to give it a seamless ultra thin look. Once again, we have that Resence hand logo. You can see the watch has the Resence hand inside the pin of the pin buckle. The pin buckle is polished and it is counterweighted like a clevis design, a little bit like an aviator suit might feature. You have the case, which is almost lenticular in profile. It's squared, but it's also rounded, so it's not a severe geometry. Benoit Mintiens, who founded the company, is Belgian. The company is founded and styles their watches in Belgium, bills them in Switzerland. So Swiss made Belgian designed, and Benoit is an industrial designer who wanted to create appealing, friendly watches that were approachable. That's why you don't see really hard, severe geometries. Even when he goes with a square, it's really a hybrid of a tonneau, a circle, and a square. It's all of those things at once. The case is all of polish. You can see it doesn't have a conventional bezel. It has a large domed cambered sapphire over the dial. And then the case back is where all the parts go in. So it loads through the reverse side, giving the watch a monoblock case construction when viewed from the top that is seamless and gorgeous. The watch is essentially all dial and the dial is made of German silver and then given additional coatings to make it brighter silver. German silver is the nickel copper zinc alloy used to make the movements of Longa watches. Real quick, I'm going to show you the lume of this watch. It is lumed, but the use of black luminova for the dial means that for the most part, uh, this is a watch that's going to be a little bit more faint than some of the famously luminous other Resence models. Nevertheless, it can be red. The watch features a regulator dial, and as much as the hour, minute, and seconds are separated, I'm going to note that this watch, like all but one generation of Resence timepiece features no crown and is set by the case back. So as I move the case back lever, you can see the time changes. It is a regulator dial. I have my hours, nine, my minutes, 60, and my seconds running. Now, I can also tell you whether it's AM or PM because we have this little day of the week indicator and you can see these little segments each represent a day. The hollow ones are obviously the weekend and it moves clockwise. So we are looking at nine, p.m. on a Friday because the last solid arc before the weekend is Friday and we are in the second half of that arc. So we are looking at 9 p.m. on a Friday. The watch can be wound manually using the case back. It's set and wound using the case back, but it's also self-winding. It uses an ETA 2892 base, which was one of the running changes to this model. It's thinner than the old 28. 24. Uh, 2892 has the same technical specs in this application. It just makes for a thinner watch. So it's bi-directional automatic winding here with the ROCS orbital convex system module. It has a 36 hour power reserve. It beats away at eight beats per second. And all of this 
The module and the base movement combined has 40 joules. It's one ATM water resistant, so splash and rain only. You don't want to swim with this one. If you want to swim with your essence, get a Type 5. The module has over 100 parts, and that's important because with 100 parts and 19 joules, the orbital convex system module is itself a piece of manufacturer watchmaking by Resens. They like to go with reliable, accurate, and tough base movements, and then do all of their watchmaking in addition on top. It is a very cool watch from a brand that only builds in the low hundreds per year, and represents one of the truly original innovations in time display within independent watchmaking in the contemporary era, or really in any era. This is an original. Reach out to Tmasa with thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.